Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh and Imam Hussein TV welcome to Soash University which will be hosting the annual Imam Hussein conference now the Imam Hussein conference happens every year and it's a conference where prestige and esteemed guests come and speak on behalf of the Shia community and to promote the name of Imam Hussein the conference is open to all Muslim and non-Muslim and it's held in a Western methodology but a very very academic approach to promote the name of Imam Hussein and to promote the struggle of Imam Hussein and most importantly to promote the name of Imam Hussein and his mission for humanity. And I spent ten nights in grief. I'm hoping for peace, but I don't want to sleep. And when I close my eyes, in in Karbala we see heavenly traits such as truth, bravery, uh, loyalty, social justice, love coming through. And these tell us that when we call for reform, the reform must be towards the direction of goodness and good. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Jawad Al-Hari, I'm from London. Um, we're at Ima the annual Imam Hussein conference here in London. It's an annual event, alhamdulillah, this year's event has been a massive success. Um, we have been graced with the presence of very um, esteemed characters. We had beautiful lectures and talks from Sayyid Jafar Baraka. We had a talk from Dr. Ihab, very academic talk. Um, personally, my favorite aspect of today was the presentation by VR Karbala, Virtual Reality Karbala. Really, really good project and initiative, and inshallah, we can support it. Um, I think these, these kind of conferences are very important because it gives us an opportunity to bring our non-Muslim friends uh, to a conference to learn about Imam Hussein. It's all good in the year doing, you know, 10, 15 nights of majalis for us Shia, but we need to accommodate to non-Muslims. Um, you know, the two types of mourning, the type of mourning where you commemorate and the type of mourning where you spread the message. And I think this equates to the former, where we can get people from the non-Shia or even non-Muslim background to be actively involved in spreading the message of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. May Allah accept. This, the little deeds that we do in his name and his honor. My name is Neil Nasser. I'm here representing Who's Hussein London, the Food Drive uh, coordination team. Who's Hussein is a, a global entity that uh, aims to help people in, in need. Here in London, we're helping the homeless people, the destitute people of London. Um, every week, we're in Charing Cross and we're serving the needs of the homeless people. Around about 200 people every single week, we're feeding them. Alhamdulillah, today's event was amazing. There was a great range of speakers that came along. I learned a lot about Imam Hussein, about Shiism, some beautiful poetry and some beautiful recitation. Imam Hussein is my inspiration because he's, in his footsteps I tried to work. He stood for um, oppression and he stood for the needy people of his time. He freed slaves. He gives me inspiration when I look around the streets of London, I see people that are oppressed right in front of me. Am I to ignore them or am I to help them? Imam Ali salam, said, never look down on somebody unless you're willing to pick them up. It's extremely important to have a Western touch um, about Imam Hussein because generally what I do is I engage with people that are non-Muslims, people of different sects and different faiths, even non-believers. General public that are walking past every single week seeing what we're doing and we're liaising with these people to tell them the beautiful elements of Islam, the beautiful elements of the Imam and what he stood for. Karbala, your land is in my mind And I can't stop these tears, no I won't find peace tonight It's not like one morning if John wakes up, he'll find a pair of limbs It's not like one morning Muhammad will start to hear Or one morning Husna San Hassan will come back to life to embrace his mother well, we, uh, we saw this opportunity of, uh, of uh, telling the, uh, about our project VR Karbala and it, was, uh, it, it fitted perfectly with the conference uh, since it's about Imam Hussain and his salam. VR Karbala is basically about uh, reviving the tragedy of Karbala and allowing users to relive 
the tragedy of Karbala by using our virtual reality glasses to travel back in time and experience and see Imam Hussein alayhi salam, Zainab salam alayhi Abbas alayhi salam, as the person was present on the Battle of Karbala. Well, I, I think the conference was very good. It's my first time attending here. I flew, uh, flew from, uh, from, from Denmark to here this morning. And Alhamdulillah, it's very good, organized by the organizers. So we are we are blessed to be here today. And it, it is not just a simple conference. It's not a majlis or majalis. It is a conference, an academic conference, which gives you some some other thoughts about Imam Hussein al -Islam and other perspective on Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fatin Adil Ismail. I am the Central London Ambassador for the Imam Hussein Blood Donation Campaign that works in partnership with the Islamic Unity Society and NHS Blood and Transfusion. So Imam Hussein is the main inspiration behind our campaign. Um, as is obvious from the name of our campaign is the Imam Hussein blood donation campaign. We draw inspiration from his sacrifice when he gave up his life and his blood. And in the same way we can do so um, in our very own society at the moment that we're living in, we can donate our blood to help the thousands of lives that are in need of blood every day in hospitals or car accidents, um, major operations, people who are in dire need of our help and we can do so selflessly and also at no harm to ourselves. In fact, um, this is something that we can do and our blood rejuvenates itself so inshallah we are all inspired by Imam Hussain alayhi salam. I wait for you Ya Hussein, I crave to be by your side I'll listen to you I promise please just give me one more night To hear your story I'm helpless wishing I could save your life but you give me courage To face the demons that I have inside To take me higher Away from desire And I spent ten nights in grief I'm praying for peace but I don't want to sleep And when I close my eyes Karubala, your land is in my mind And I can't stop these tears No, I won't find Peace tonight One of the terms the Quran uses to describe how the process of tabliq should be done is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa ma alayna illa al Al Mubin in chapter 36, verse 17, and we are not responsible for other than clear notification. Now, in the Arabic language, the strongest method to emphasize on sponsor is to exempt it and then give an exemption. We're here at the end of the Imam Hussein conference. The conference was an amazing experience where we had loads of different people from different backgrounds, from spoken word to uh, PhD doctors giving lectures to uh, human activists to even normal speakers, people who talk on TED Talks, all here to promote the name of Imam Hussein and to promote the message, the mission of peace, love and humanitarianism, all here in London. Mohsin Shah, Imam Hussein TV. Yes, they're useless These tears on their own If I don't follow his lead So I'm working for peace But there's war in my sleep And when I close my eyes Karbala, your land is in my mind and I can't stop these tears, no, I won't find peace tonight. This fire in my heart won't die, and even in my dreams I hear the cries. I see bodies laying side by side, children screaming, I know they won't find peace tonight. This fire in my heart won't die, and even in my dreams, I...